Hey guys and gals, here's the second installment of the Police Training Academy by LEGO City, set number 60372, and it has a little over 800 bricks. So in the last installment, we focused on bags 1 through 4, so we built a bunch of this stuff here, and we left off on bag 5. So that's pretty much what we did. And just as a recap of what we've done, we did the ATV and some of these various buildings, including this little horse stable here that you can barely see. And we got the horse at the very top, all that stuff. So, so far, just by doing half the build, I'm 100% satisfied with this set. And it just has a dinky little sheet of stickers that we barely touched. <laughs> So this is pretty much a treat to do, okay? So that's where we're at now, and I think we're working on that right there. It looks like that has a sticker on it, so we're going to have to get prepared. This horse keeps falling off, so I'm just have to deal with it. So let's set everything off to the side here, and we will get started. Um, I have been cranking out reviews like crazy. I mean, I literally got a bunch done between these two segments. Uh, the one I filmed was actually earlier in the day. This is a bedside build. So now we're going to finish this one up in, the, in, the, in this sitting here. So let's get going. Okay, so... We got our Lego math. We need to grab one of these. I'm starting to like these more and more. These make great bases for making houses and stuff, you know. Not mill style, but it's pretty close. <laughs> okay. So. Oh, and yes. Here's these scratched up pieces of glass. I mean, look at that. I mean, my goodness gracious. I mean... Um, I don't know how Lego managed to screw that one up, but they did. They need to package those up. I need to make a point on the ambassador thing saying, you guys need to do something about your quality control. You know, I don't like getting parts that are scuffed up. Even though these were provided to me by the Lego group for review, still, you know. And yes, this was provided to me. Um, you know, is it free? No, you know, Lego does give me this stuff for free with quotes. The reason being is it's because I have to put off tutorials and stuff, and that's the only downside to doing these. So I got a bunch of stuff I'd like to share, but I can't do that yet. But we're going to do this stuff first. But this is one of those sets that I can tolerate because it's really fun to put together. So we're going to get going here. And... Let's see here. Yeah, I'm getting tired, but I've been nailing out a lot of reviews. Basically, it's the small reviews. So, matter of fact, I hope this is the right bag. we got to make two of these. So, I'm just glad I'm finally getting some of these reviews done here. The goal is to release one every day. Except on Fridays, because Fridays are my day. That's a tutorial day. Saturdays I don't know, but definitely not Fridays. Because I want to share my stuff too. I'm not a review channel by any means. This channel here is just building channel. This is the raw reviews. So, while everybody else does the speed build through the meat, I'm going to discuss it as we go. <laughs> Um, just to kind of have some fun here. Well, at least now with this building instruction here, they just said schedule the, or not schedule, just set five of these down all at once. Hey, I'm fine with that. Okay, this must be the weight room. All right. So, I think that's what this is. This looks pretty familiar. And you have to admit, though, there's some really good ideas hidden in these um, Lego City sets, just like the Lego Friends sets. A lot of, especially you guys don't like those, there's lots of hidden builds in those things. You know, there's no need to be scared of the pink and the pastel colors and stuff. You know, there's lots of good hidden 
building things in there. And all kinds of stuff. Just go in there and change out those colors and you're ready to go. Okay, so we use these. I thought we were using these for a skateboard, but no, we're using these. How many of you have seen a police officer on a skateboard? Unless it's on off hours. Alright. Okay. I'm kind of looking at two steps at one time. Yeah, so, so far this is not a bad build. It's very subtle. It's very slow. That's because it's for younger age builders. But today it's intended for adult building. Now... Oh, there it is. I was going to say, we couldn't be running out of parts already. Okay, put a corner brick there. Right. Yeah, this set does come with a lot of bricks, too. So you're not going to get shortchanged or anything like that. It's got lots of bricks and stuff in here. I'm going to need that later on. What is this, an android? <laughs> Let me get there, I'll show you. I mean, I, I guess it is a little robot. What would you need a robot in here for? Oh, this is even getting even better here. Hold on. So, we have the little arms. Sometimes I wish I, can ha I, wish I had a camera angle for you to see the manual as I'm doing it. So we do that. And then we use a white minifigure head and the the android or droid whatever you want to call it has a well I'm trying to turn it but it's got a beanie hat on so maybe the android gets cold and he's got to have the beanie cap on so what is his point in here anyways just to sit here and watch the guy do weights is that what he's doing? Let me turn that and make sure it sits like that. So what is he doing there? Maybe he's there to assist you or something. We don't know what he is. Unless he's a hat rack. But... Well, maybe he's a hat rack. We, we don't know what it is because we got to guess. <laughs> and that's the beauty about doing these type of um, builds is that you can just sit here and guess at this and you can just have fun with it. Okay, this must be the, the large um, barbell. Sometimes it's hard to line up these tiles. You don't have to do it, but for me I'm going to go OCD if I don't, so I'm going to do that anyways. That sits right here. So it just rests in it. That's not a bad idea for what is that, a bench press thing? That's pretty good. That's a really good idea, too. So imagine using that. That's a good use for those uh, hitch pieces. So. Well, the android is facing away. Okay, we'll make him face this way a little bit then. Well, he's got that beanie hat on. He's got to keep his little. His tin head, his tin can warm. Whoops, that fell. Huh? We got to be careful. We don't want that falling on anybody. Right, let's see here. So obviously, this set is meant to be played with. So it's got an open back in here, so it's not like a modular where it's self-contained. Now we got to take some scratch glass and stick it in the frames. I mean, Lego. I mean. That right there is not, that, that's not called for, you know. Lego, wrap these up in separate bags, please. You know, I'm, you're going to scare me off from buying these, and I will not even waste my money on them. Uh, this one here has got some scratches here, too. You know, you think it's dust until you're, 
wiping it off. I even tried a microfiber cloth and it just seemed like it wouldn't get them out. Now, Jay, you're being picky. You know. Of course I am. Lego's expensive. We don't want it all scratched up. I'm going to scratch something up. Scratch up those pieces with the stickers. Then I have no choice but to put the sticker on and hide the mess, huh? <laughs> okay. Alright, so we're doing something right here. Looks like we're just building one. Okay. Yeah, this kind of reminds me of an older Lego set just because of the colors. The colors are pretty much what's setting it off. And we have handcuffs in the weight room. Why? So if the guy drops the barbell on himself, he gets handcuffed to the bench press until he does, <laughs> does it right? Is that how we're doing it in here? Maybe I don't want. Maybe I don't want to go. Maybe I don't want to do any training here. They may do that. Okay, and this goes here. Okay, two more scratch glass. Well, this one here. No, look at that big old scratch right there. Right there. It's, you know, I mean, I may as well have just not cared and just dropped it and scratched it, huh? I don't know how bad this one is. Yeah. I mean... If I had something black that I had that I could put this on, but... I mean... Right there, right above my thumb, it's just... Yeah, I mean, I know this is this is really a, a kid's toy and all, but some of us take this hobby, well, some people take it seriously. I just, I only take it serious in points of when I get the stuff here, it better not be damaged or scratched. If I do it, that's on me. I have to buy new ones if I, if I want to. I have some glass that's, that I've used, and it's starting to yellow, but that's because of age. Because they have uh, some plastics, they have some kind of chemical in it to, uh, you know, as a flame retardant type thing. You know, I understand that, but, you know, but to get the stuff packed, well, crappy, and you get it in really horrible condition, you know, some people will not sugarcoat it. I, 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 or some people will. A lot of people will sugarcoat. I'm going to tell you up front. I'm not, I'm not happy with this stuff being in the condition that it is, you know. I'm just randomly throwing parts. I'm just basically, I skipped this step here and I'm just going on to that one. And they're basically essentially the same thing. I was supposed to get a haircut tomorrow, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to catch up on some reviews and do it the next day. Because then I can fit it right in between video processings and stuff, you know. Go down and have them hack my mop off. Still need to get that. And it's a chore pretty much. You know, some people like going to the barber. Well, I'd rather go to the barber than the dentist because it's cheaper. Okay, you can barely tell in the manual, but there's two different leaf colors right there. So they have the bright green here, and then they have the dark green on this side here. Does it really matter if you're building this? No. You can do it any way you want. But for me, I gotta build it like the manual tells me. We save the randomness when we actually build mocks. Okay, so these must be just like little flowers for the windows. So the android can sit there and admire the flowers while the while he's watching the one of the officers 
Well, officer in training doing weights. You know. Looks like we got to do the badge next. It goes on the front here. Okay. Yeah, when I'm doing these, I'm always looking at the viewfinder, um, making sure that everything's still in frame and all that stuff, because it's just easier for you to see what I'm doing instead of just hiding what I'm doing. If I'm not, if I'm just going to sit here and hide what I'm doing, I may as well just make this a podcast and just talk to you about certain things, you know. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. get kind of boring. I have to show you. I can't just tell you. Okay, and then... Now, these, these are not getting stickers. i got to get a couple more of these here. Just in random colors, because these make great awnings for things. Okay. And then there's an Exonite shield here. And yeah, that will get defaced. But see, I don't care about those. But and then let's see, let's start at the very top here. And then we'll drop it down. At least in the manual, they're having you put it together first. Boy, that sticker is a different color than the brick. <laughs> yeah. I forgot to put the cheese slopes at the bottom. Well, no, I haven't gotten that far yet. As a matter of fact, I thought it was just that. No, I'll show you. They have this here. They don't show you the pieces are here, but they show the sticker here. So, yeah. And that just goes right on there. Think like that. And of course, just press from the inside too to really squeeze that together. And that's it. And this is the parts we have remaining for, well, I had one. The flower is included, but that's what we have remaining for bag five. And don't go anywhere yet, because we're not done. Okay, we got to put it together now. So we got to get the one that says police, and we're gonna have to marry these two together. Slide that right in there. Well, we got a little bit of a gap there. I don't like that too much, but they show the gap in the book. So, and it tells us to move from bag, or from book three to four. All right, so we don't need that anymore. Let's take a look here, and then let's see what we have to do now. Is there another one of these? Yep. So, that's what we'll do next. Let's grab bin six, or bag six. Depends on how you're building it. <laughs> so this one here has got these parts. Let me set this over here. And as a matter of fact, well, you can't even see it, but looks like a, ba a bunch of shipping containers. <laughs> All right, let's make sure I get everything centered for you, and then we will get started. Okay, and just for good luck, let's make sure our focus is focused. Okay. Always keep it on manual. Okay, so we're going to put together mini figures, but before we do, we're going to need to get these two items keyed up too. So let's go dig for the small stuff. Oh wow! I don't. I've never had this piece before. I'll put it on the mini figure and I'll show you. It's like a fade. So we're actually getting fade haircuts now. Now we just got to have them do that with uh, um, with the bowl cut. <laughs> have a um, what they call the egger cut. You know, I mean, why not? 
so they have him there and they need to have this fade thing let's see if I can get that on there right yeah looks like a hat in a way but no that's a that's supposed to be a fade or or what I don't know what it is maybe a crop or something but well we don't need that anymore because we're going to be putting on the helmet these guys are going to be in action they're not going to just sit in the office and push the keys on the computer all day they're going to work all right yeah so they got, they got a lot of good wigs now in lego when i was a kid there wasn't a whole lot of options now there's like so many options that's why a lot of us adults are getting into this hobby now Okay. So yeah, that's what he looks like there. Yeah. Okay, we got the figure done. So he'll sit over here with his his fade, and then we'll go ahead and do that. Wait a minute. Hold on. Okay, we're back buttering things and then we're setting these in here yeah because this is the type of lego colors i grew up with like red blue white yellow very basic colors so this kind of reminds me of a really old school lego set i mean it's just very basic colors and when i was a kid though you had to you just had to imagine things you couldn't nothing was done for you you had to imagine you know where like if I wanted to build a tan house you used yellow or you know, like for sand a sandy beach the yellow was your sand and red was brown you know, if you wanted to build a tree a red trunk and we didn't really have any green leaves, so what did you use? Well, you used your imagination for it. You could just mix some yellow and blue together and you'd have green. So you, you had to just use your imagination with Lego. It wasn't like today where we have all these custom parts, you know. I mean, man, that color really does stand out. The camera shows it as regular yellow, but man, it's bright. Oh, you know what? If I can get this wig piece in medium nougat or even, you know, dark tan or dark orange, Jay the Surfer will have a new hairdo since that's pretty much what I get anyways anymore. Yeah. Uh, I, like I said, I don't like going to getting a haircut. And I'm not growing it out. And the best thing is to go and when you go to the barber, just go for a skin fade crop really short you don't really have to take you don't have to really comb it all the time unless you want it to look uh, kind of like you got out of bed but then again <laughs> it take for me it takes like 10 to 12 weeks for it to really grow out and it kind of cushions up the time from have to go in and get it cut again so it's a uh, it's pretty much a time uh, it's a time and uh, and especially when, uh, you know, now with the price of getting a haircut now has gone up significantly. It's used to be $20. Now it's like almost a 40 now. The place I go to is 40 Unless the guy likes you, then he gives you a discount. But, um, you know, things are just ridiculous. And I may have to learn how to give myself a buzz cut. <laughs> I am not going to do it's not that you can't not that I can't do a buzz cut I'm just not going to you know shave it down to a number two or something like that and then just be like oh what have I done now I gotta wait now why don't we stick these one by four plates when we were doing the tiles you know Alright. 
more parts of the obstacle course. I think that's what the box had on it. It said it was an obstacle course. As a matter of fact, I have the box right here. Let's grab it and see together. Yeah, obstacle course. So that's what the box looks like if you haven't seen it. Sorry about the view here, but that's how we roll. And on this channel, we don't keep it professional. We keep it raw. You know, if you want to watch a polished video, there's plenty of YouTubers who do those. <laughs> Here we do the hard, we do the raw stuff. We get down and dirty. We talk about those topics that other channels don't get into while you're building. Unless you want to see this with piano music. Oh, I'm not going to do that here. I cringe when I hear that stuff. All right. If I'm mistaken, it you can reconfigure this. Um, obstacle course any way you like. Of course, we're not gluing it together, so you could do as you please with it. All right. What a waste of a good roller coaster track, too. And I still have never got a roller coaster set. I should just splurge just to get it, but then again, we all know it's going to happen. What I should just do is I should just buy the tracks the carts that go on them and the mechanical stuff and then just go hog wild and build my own you know and then that's what we do here well I noticed something we did we must have skipped a bag or something oh wait a minute hold on I think we're supposed to set this on top of something else. Let me look here. This is the second floor. This goes up here like this. Okay, like that. And it shows it already on the floor here. I might have skipped the first one, so let's just put that on there real quick. I mean, well... The horse food fell out of the thing, and then I got it in there, and it's supposed to fit on top like that. And then that's pretty much what it is. So, you know, so far it's pretty playable. Now we got to do something small. I think there's something that goes here. Let me slide that out of the way, and we'll get back down here for you. That's the next guy we gotta do. So we're doing something here. Yeah, so if, you, if you're building along with this, if you wanna kindly tell me, tell me you are, it'd be kinda cool. So I, know, I know some people get use out of these videos, like if they're stuck on a step or something just doesn't make sense, you know, we can work it out together. And of course, some of these sets are pretty trivial. You know, you don't need to... It, 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 they're not hard. But I'm... We also get this string too in one of these spools, but I'll have to show you the secret with that spool there and how to attach it. Lego has simplified it so much. I mean, I kid you not, Lego has improved a lot of the stuff in this 2023 stuff here. They're making it easy. Especially for guys like me who just don't want to have to tie knots into things. Okay. So I would say that this set though is more for inspiration than anything else. Like just building your own ideas after this. Like this is, you can probably make a good mock out of this. Probably have to build an alternative mock out of this just for fun. Something that's related to the police department or something like that. Oh, excuse me. I am ready for bed, huh? Whoa. 
Yeah, there's some, there is some small pieces in here, but not a lot. Not like some of the sets that I've been building, because this one here has got a little bit of everything. But it's not overwhelming. It's not like you're going to fight through a bag full of tiny little one-by-ones. Um, okay, so now we're sticking these in here to hold something. Well, I already see what we're holding. Well, what are we holding, Jay? Well, we'll show you here. You know that game that people play at parties called Limbo? How low can you go? Well, that's exactly what we're doing here. How low can you go? Well, obviously start with the lowest one first. Then you have to straighten yourself back up to get under that one. How low will you go? Oh, I thought we were done, but we're not done yet. Okay. All right. Here's the spool. We've all seen them like this, but look. They have a stud on it to attach one of these. And honestly, it's about damn time. When I saw that, when I was doing the part exploration in the back of my mind, I was like saying the F word in my mind, thinking about time, Lego, you did something that's going to be very helpful. Because I always hated fishing the string through there and tying knots. I, I mean, I've never had these fail. I'm sure they do, but, I mean, when you start seeing, stuff, like, that's a major improvement to that part. So, I want to see how that's going to work here. Obviously, this is the mountain climber area. All right. You know I got the handlebars on upside down. There. Let's take the masking tape off. You know I need to put a trash can over here. Especially when you get the tape shards on your fingers and you can never get the tape off of them. There we go. I don't think I have, well, maybe I have a few of these that are this length here. And then we attach it to this. Now I'm noting the orientation that the book is telling me. So I'm going to go straight down or go off to the left. The only problem though is you're not going to get a good seamless fit over that. See, that's where it shows it at here. It goes right on here. So. He can still fit under there, barely. And that's what it is. So. Okay. I'm just going to guide it here. Okay. And there you go. And it goes on that top piece over here. So, let's see if we can get that in frame so you can see. It goes right there. Alrighty. Well, that's really seamless. Look at that. Of course, that goes down, too. So, now you don't have to tie those pesky knots in there. That just does it for you. So, that's pretty good. We still have one piece remaining. I think it went over here. Oh, wow. That's a heck of a drop. I'll have to show you. Oh, wow. This is nasty. Imagine if you weren't if you were doing the limbo wrong right here. Oh wow, that's a heck of a drop. This would probably break your fall, but if you fall through that little hole, you're really gonna have it, aren't you? That's the only downside. They didn't really seem that you know make that seamless at the top. So I guess you have to pretend that it's full. And that's what we have remaining. 
Okay, let's proceed on with Ben 7. And so far, this is a really fun build. The best part is there's not a lot of tiny pieces. And these are like rebar or or a, a liquish. That was that was a nice bright red and stick that in somebody's candy bowl, they wouldn't even know the difference. So we're gonna have to move on to booklet number five. Well, that's if I can find it. Here it is. And it's the thickest one of them all. It's actually the biggest. So let's see what we got in here. All right, so it's the same thing pretty much. We're doing bags seven and eight in, ba in book five, and we need two of these. And I think that's it. Yes, we are empty. Okay, we've got everything we need here. And why bother putting the wigs on? She doesn't need it. She's going to be wearing a hat. Just imagine in Lego life, you need to go and put a hat on. Oh, man, you're going to have to shave off your head. Or else, no, in Lego, you can just take your hair off. Just imagine, though, if you were like a Lego dude and you wanted to get a haircut, you could try on different wigs before you commit. She's got a single-sided head. In fact, she's got a big jawline on her head, too. Alright, let's see here. And i got to find that wig. Oh, here it is. In fact, they should have gave her the fade haircut, huh? Wonder what she looks like on her off hours. Let me take that off. We gotta put the helmet on. All right, let's see here. Um, I'm looking for the last helmet. Oh, she's got a. Oh no, she doesn't have a helmet. She just has a hat. So there you go. She's done. Ready? To, she's ready to walk the beat. thing about doing these type of style videos on this channel is I can be more myself without having to script them and stuff. I don't really think a lot of people can handle my wildness on here, especially with the stories and stuff. I just kind of mess around when I'm building. All right. I think this is the last portion of the obstacle course. I think this book just covers that. So, honestly, if you know, there's Lego has this thing that they've been starting up is the, you know, build together thing. And this set here would have probably been a good exception to build together. You know, you could have just handed off a couple of these modular blocks from the Canopy headquarters and you could just put it together like that. And this right here is one in itself, so you literally could uh, break this build down if you choose to and it would work too alrighty so there you go that's a nice color scheme right there that be making a pool or something I can look at the box and cheat but I don't know maybe they're going to be doing a swimming party here too must be the drain for the pool oh and if you're watching this you know and you don't really build mocks I see things with these type of parts. Like what else could I use these for when I'm building something? Or sometimes I'll pick up a building technique and go, hmm, that would make a great build thing. You know. Like this would be great. Like this right here looks like steps to a pool, but we have the cocktail table inside the pool. So maybe this place is going to be serving up drinks while we're on, while we're on the clock, huh? <laughs> you don't know. We don't really know yet. And one of these here. So maybe it is just a table. So instead of using one by two plates, we just use one by two or one by two flat tiles. We use radiator grills. Well, oh, that's not the right color. And wow, my heater actually flipped on. It's like in the 20s out here right now. It's been mighty cold. As, this, as of the filming of this video, the Sierra's got several feet of snow. We've had some flurries out here, and 
they said the winters out here, they say they're going to be warm, but they say the winters are going to get more aggressive, too. Like, you may see more aggressive storms and stuff. Of course, uh, yeah, that sunshine really is aggressive out there. All right, whoops. Now, you're going to be tempted to do that. You want to cross these over like that. Okay, so you see that? How I got them facing which way the book tells you that too. I first assumed that. So Alright. I don't know what that's for. But we will see eventually. I could cheat, but you know. Makes the video the video ugh, makes the video less uh, exciting if we cheat. So this is probably something that Maybe to annoy the maybe to annoy the parents, huh? You don't know. Wow, we just put one brick in there for that step. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. Maybe I should have read ahead. We're building another one of those too. So oh. I don't know. I should have read ahead. No, that's my fault. Something in here is rattling. It's annoying the bejeebies out of me. Okay. Come on, Jay. Note the orientation. Don't. You gotta. You gotta. You gotta do it correctly. Preach what you're selling. <laughs> All right. Okay. I need to get some more of these one by one Technic bricks in different colors, and I think that goes there. And indeed, it does. And no, get back down there. Well, at least now the arches won't prevent it from doing that. Well, don't behave. <laughs> Got a little crazy there, aren't you, Mr. Bouncy Thing? All right. Okay. Okay, I see what these are for. Okay. Well, this really will be a challenge. First off, stick these inside the tubes. Make two of them. And stick them on here, which you should have done that beforehand. Boy, you know, just these bouncy things are going to be scary enough, but imagine trying to... When you're jumping on those, I'm assuming these are probably for the trainees to, to jump on. And those are slick tiles, too. It'd be mean if somebody put grease on those, huh? Well, if you jump, you're not going to stop. <laughs> You know, you're going to hit this full force. Alright, and I think I skipped a step. Okay, I did. Alright. This guy's next. Okay. Alright, we're getting this done. We are going to nail this out tonight, and I don't know if I'm going to review it tonight or tomorrow. Alrighty, we are missing a 1x4 plate first before I start pointing fingers. I'll have to look, because that may not be a color I have a lot of. Of course, I did do bins 4, 6, and 8, so I don't remember seeing that piece. I had to put one here, but I doubt that. Let me take a look. Because that could have been a mistake on my end. No, that's correct. So, that uh, probably went into another bin. I didn't do anything with bag seven, so it's hard to say. 
Let me go find one real quick. Okay, I have plenty of these in that color, I guess. There we go. Later on, it'll probably turn up, so... <laughs> Let's see here. And it helps when you have a, a very big, large, long library of parts. Wait. Okay, I found a bloopers in the book. I'm going to show you something here. Okay. <laughs> Step 193, you put that in here. Step 194, you put this in here, right? You notice there's one by four plates around here. Step 195, put the plates in. <laughs> yep. And... Oh, wait a minute. There wasn't supposed to be one here. So see? I already found... There's the missing one. We don't need that now. So we weren't missing a piece. So, yes, indeed, LEGO made a mistake in their manual here. And I have done that a few times on mine. I had to go back in and revise. So, Lego, uh, yeah. Uh, you may want to do what I do and just revise by hand or hire somebody to proofread everything. And just imagine they've already mass produced these, so you can't say, oh, I found a mistake. You need to correct that real quick. Because they probably already made a million copies of this set. And, I mean, what are they going to do? Recall them? Oh, wait a minute. Maybe, maybe they should, huh? You know, you just you just degraded my building experience. <laughs> Where's my money? I, I want my money back. You know. These are always cool. Alrighty. Oh, and there's a red brick that goes in there. I wasn't paying attention. That wasn't Lego's mistake. That was mine this time. Oh, the back of this kind of looks hideous. Boy, this is not really sturdy. Hope we're going to strengthen that up a bit more. I, mean, I hate when you pick up a build and they fall apart. Okay, we got another one of those cocktail tables here. So there must be another one of these platforms. It's not a table, it's actually a platform that you used to stand on. I'm taking this is probably the step or something, I don't know. Okay. And some tiles. I'm taking this is probably water in here. Yeah, this set here is a good build all around. This can be built any part of time of the year. This, the colors of this all scream spring and summer to me. So doing this in the in mid December is a, kind of a different story here with it. Okay, let's see now. Put that in there. Okay, what do we use the licorice for? What is that coming up? I want to use those. Those look interesting. Well, Jay, can't you wait? No, I can't wait. I, I, I want to play with it. I think when I do the review on this, I'm just going to review each piece separately. Because it is a very big build. So what I'll do when I review it, we'll just talk about like each portion. Like that. And then I'll put everything on a turntable or something. And then we'll just go handheld on it. And then we'll just go like that. I'll just take the hand cam and point at certain items. When I film these, I don't film them in order, so... It just depends. Now we got to do the liquish. So this is going to be something new for me here. Matter of fact, you... You can't even shove a shaft all the way through. And that's pretty sharp, too. You can get cut on that. It looks like more like rebar. Pretty seamless, too. Man, you can get cut on this. 
Yeah, Lego, what are you trying to do? Make me go out and get another Technic shot? I've already had like three, three or four Technic shots in my life. Okay. Take one of these round bricks here. This is two by two by two brick, but they round. Well, it's kind of got teeth inside for this. And basically we have to feed this in here like this, so pretty cool, huh? And then this is probably just rest in here. But how do we turn it? Well, we gotta make a handle next, that's exactly what we're doing. A lot of friction pins, but nothing that directly drives that. Wow. We have one extra radiator grill. Oh, I see where it goes. We haven't gotten that far yet. It's like, where do these pieces come from? Okay. Snap that in there, and that just pretty much does that. You know, matter of fact, that piece, this right here alone, will come in handy for a lot of things. Moving platforms, uh, elevators, all sorts of stuff. Matter of fact, you can use that with the Mindstorm set, and you could really have some fun with that. What do they call those things? Um, an actuator? I don't know what kind of gear that would be, but yeah. Really, it doesn't even sit on those tiles. Alright, that's it. We didn't have any pieces left too, so yeah, we did pretty good. We still got a bunch of those stickers left, so where are those going to go? I don't know. Okay, finally, we're on the last portion of the build. And so far out of seven bags, I have been highly amused. <laughs> so... This is a treat from the last stuff that I've been reviewing. Um, and I can't talk about them here because I don't know the order that they've been released in, but so far, this is probably one of my top favorites that I have reviewed so far. If it can keep an adult interested and entertained, you know it's going to keep a, a young one entertained too. Okay, oh, that's a nice little upside down arch. Yeah, now I'm starting to get a little tired, but I want to get this done first. Then I'm going to let my mind cool down, and then I'll step away from it, and the next day I'll come in and I will review it. Because doing a review after you build, you know, I kind of want to take a breather from it for a bit. All right, what's that for? Is that to punch the guy off the thing so it'll go like he comes by, you can just knock him off? Okay. We don't know yet. That's an odd spot for that little tile there. Yeah, so the build for me, though, is a bit too slow. But I'm not going to grade up on that because of the age range. If I had the box close by, I could tell you what the age is on this. I don't think I even mentioned it on the box. If it doesn't say it, it's okay to build it, right? You know? uh, one by one brick with cross hole. That's... That part's been around, but not too long. I don't know how many people are watching this that are police officers or somebody who's, you know, like a cop or something like that going, why well, this set's got everything all wrong. And no, I've never, was ever excited to do law enforcement. Definitely not today. Okay, I wonder what that's for there. 
there's a gap left open at the bottom so hard to say what that is exactly all right well I see a sticker coming up so first I got to find the tiny parts first before we can even brace ourselves for the pain Oh, no way! After all these years, they finally have made a 4x4 four four tile, and guess what's going on it? A blinking sticker. You're kidding me, right? Serious. Alright, what I'm going to do real quick, I'm going to take a picture of this part, so I'll know exactly what it is, so I can order more of those. I saw that. I first thought maybe it was just a regular old, you know, one of those one by or four by four plates with the studs, but no. I've been wanting these for quite some time, preferably in gray. The reason being is sidewalks. This would be perfect for a sidewalk tile. White, not so much, but yes. But guess what? We're going to be doing. We're going to deface that little booger. So, well. <laughs> That's a unique piece, but guess what's going to happen when I'm done with the review? That sticker's going to get ripped off like right after the review. I'm not keeping that on or we're putting this hazard sticker on there. Well, it's hazardous to this tile's health. So that will get ripped right off real quick. You know how I am about pieces that I need. So I'm just going to barely tack that on there. <laughs> Yeah, I'm ripping that puppy off. So it looks like it goes on here. I guess that's what it's supposed to do. Whoa. It goes right there on that little stick piece. I'm sure there's something else that holds it in. Yeah. I'll tell you, that's a piece that I could use. Now I just gotta, now we just gotta get Lego to bring those out in different colors. Those would be great, not only for that, but for mosaics and stuff too. It'd save time from piecing together a bunch of four by four. As a matter of fact, that'd make a great tabletop too. I wish Lego would make those like with studs around, like in corners and stuff like that. You could use them for tabletops. All right. see here okay. now that's a lot better it's sturdier now but I need to get that secured there here's some more pieces I don't know if these are new or not but these are like a 1 by 8 by 3 slope I mean yeah I mean there's a this set here has got a lot of goodies in here, some of which I'm kind of sad about the stickers being on, but i still only got two of these left. Once LEGO releases those, I'm probably going to order maybe about 50 or so of those, because I can always use those type of tiles. It's better than piecing together a bunch of 1x4s or 2x2s. And you can really kind of get crazy with them, and you can make some really slimline builds instead of the. Uh, I got to stick a four by four plate underneath it too to make it work. Yeah, I wanted to say a cuss word putting a sticker on that. But that will get ripped off. Lego's watching that. They're going to be like, oh, Jay, please don't. Well, no, I'm going to do it after the review. I'm not going to do it before the review. But it's, sorry, Lego, but that piece is a little more important than this set. Because we've been after 4x4 four four tiles for many years. Must be the punching bag there. So I guess that's what that is. So when this, I guess this thing here, you go slide on this, you got to watch out for the obstacles to knock you off. Not you're going to land in the uh, 
hole full of medium azure studs and a walk on that barefoot hurts enough. Imagine if you're a minifigure. Or probably doesn't bother them. <laughs> This to where you can see it better. See now this is a yeah. so far it's pretty good. Um, spring action is a bit sluggish. Works better than the lo uh, power locks on my truck. <laughs> Haven't tucked those out yet. I notice in the summertime they work perfect. That's just because the grease, but. I need to get in there and degrease all that and relube. But I want to take care of the uh, take care of my final uh, stuff because I'm going to get I have to get some um, those clips you would have to put behind the door panel because when you rip off the old the door panel with this hook thing it destroys the old snap on things. And I just thought of something. I'm going to have to disconnect the uh, power windows, power locks, power mirrors. But those switches are kind of flaky. So I'm going to rip those switches out and just completely clean them and all that stuff. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Rebuild everything. The power mirror has a little joystick on the, on the side there. And it's like 30 years old. It's not working very well. <laughs> I'm going to clean that down and get that working really good. I don't know why we have floodlights on this. You want it to be hard for the for the trainees. All right, let's see here. Oh, see, oh, there it is, right there. And we got a half one that goes there. These half round bricks are pretty cool, too. Well... I don't see a gray brick in here. Oh, it's this. It's backwards, so just note that here it's that one. I was looking for a regular gray brick there. Yeah, tomorrow I'm going to Review this, unbox another set, and continue on with the, um, the build. Alright, so we're going to put the last two stickers on these tiles, and I may save them on here. Or just use them for awnings, I don't know. Okay. And... Oh, man. Kind of tired and don't want to put any more stickers on. But putting a sticker on a 4x4 tile just did it for me. <laughs> Jay, you gotta let it go. I oh, know I can't, and we are done with that. I got one of them on. As a matter of fact, I just thought of something. The other day, I got contacted by a professor of mine wanting to know if I wanted to go into teaching a college-level course. And I was like, uh, I messaged back like, no. <laughs> uh, they wanted me to do it for, they wanted me to do it for a semester, teach a introductory programming course. And I was like, no, I'm not going to do that. This must be the little trophy. All right, let's see here. I thought we were done over here. No, we're not done. Okay, that goes here.
Lego, what's with all the door frames that don't have any doors in them, huh? I mean, of course, I've ordered plenty of doors, so I can fill those in. I have about two or three hundred doors. Didn't buy the frames for them, because I'm always... time I find a frame that I like, either it's brittle brown or... Or if they don't have... Or they just didn't have them in stock at the time. Okay, it looks like we're done with that part. We got one of these things here. I don't know where that would connect at unless it connects down here. But where does that go exactly? It's just some random piece. I thought we were done with this, but maybe not. Okay, I'm missing a Technic piece here. Oh, there it is. So what are we using that for? Okay, we're joining it to this side here. So this may be part of this. And the scrunched inside goes right here. Okay, so it goes on the other side of this. So this is not broken down into modulars, this is just one big piece. So when I review it, because it's easier to do demonstrations in smaller parts, I may just have to break it apart and just review each portion because this thing now is pretty big. I can't even you can't even see the whole thing. And then um, now we gotta do the zip line thing here. We got two extra tiles. Where do they come from, or where do they go? Oh, I see where the tiles go. They go in that way. Is that where they go? I don't want to commit to it. This is not too hard. I don't know why I closed the book. I gotta go back and see. I forgot these. They should have been in there a while back, but now we're putting them in there. I want to see that zip line work now. All right. So, um, it's a very big set, but obviously you wouldn't be able to pick this up in one piece. And. The redded tape again. Alrighty, so. So it goes right here. It's got some. You don't want to really press on that too hard. And it, that's what it looks like all done there. And. Yeah, so you put all this stuff in here like this. It just shows you some ideas of what to do. I mean, we could do that later. Well, I'll do it later, you know. <laughs> I gotta let my mind clear down. But one thing we want to try out first is the zip line. And we got this thing here. We gotta pull this off. And this, I guarantee, will get lost a lot. There should be a way to hook this in permanently. There isn't. So let's grab, I don't know, let's grab this guy because he looks suspicious. That grin on his face, well, let's see how well you do on the zip line. All right. Well, if I can get it in his hand, there we go. And this is just easy. You can see it's got a notch there. So you can just take this in and hook it right in. There we go. So it can go like this. 
And that's pretty good actually. Let me get let me see here. Let's get let's back up a little bit more here and I'll show you. That's a pretty good idea. Um, we'll try that again here. So you can take this off here. We can hook them back up. I was too unsure about that, but no, that actually works. That's a great inspiration for something else, like a James Bond theme or something. There you go. Let's try it again. It's a little stiff, though. Probably because the string has got some wrinkles in it, so you may have to uh, iron those out a bit. So there you go. Then he jumps down from here hook and all and he can get on here while he's holding the hook so he's got to watch out because some things will smash at him in the face or he can get punched by the punching bag knocked right off yeah and of course he can get to the end if he makes it successfully to the end here he can just bounce on these things and he wins the prize with his hook let me put the key of magic back on the little hook up here. So, let's take a look at this here real quick. I'm hoping I can get that to fit in frame where you can see it. So we got the handlebars here. We're going to test this out real fast. And this is how I do the reviews before I, uh, I actually play with this stuff. <laughs> You just stick this in here like that. Just like if he was riding a bike. Of course, the helmets always want to come off. Yeah, this is uh, not going on very well, huh? You just refusing to go on? So, we'll drop that down. Well,. Let me put it upside down then. Don't force it. Just rotate his hands and just flip it upside down. I mean, that's probably the only way it's going to go in. Let's see here. So yeah, he can just do this. And then you can just get the string. Okay, Jay, get the string up there right. And then you can just hoist them up. Okay. So let me get this out of here real quick and I'll show you. Yeah. His hands have to be like that. Going up towards his head like that. And that works pretty good. So then he has to do the limbo. How low can you go? I don't think he can even go that low. He'll just have to crawl underneath them. Then he goes in here. Then he has to grab onto this. He can grab onto the crossbars and stuff like that. Then he can take the zip line down and all that stuff. And the horse is a horse, of course. You know, you we, we don't. Need, I don't need to show you how to ride a horse. You just stick the minifigures in. And this is not a very small set when we look at it here. So I think the set retails for I think a hundred dollars, and just by playing around with this and such, so he can use the weight room, or you take off the helmet, he can go in there and plenty of space. He can sit at the computer and do his paperwork and. So yeah, I am going to say that that's a wrap on that. And despite these floors don't fit together very well though. Um, this is probably, probably I'm going to say worth the $100. Because it's mostly big pieces. And I mean it's too big to fit in the camera's frame. But you can see we get a lot of stuff here. And I'm zoomed out all the way, too. I don't want to back it up any more than I have to. I mean, I guess I could. It may be a little lopsided, but... 
but in addition to that you get the fragile horse set up. The horse always takes a topple so he's probably one of the weakest links in the whole thing so if you didn't like somebody in the uh, the training academy give him the tan horse should have been a white horse. Don't ride the white horse. No, this is just a tan horse. You got all this extra stuff that goes with it. I may just do the thumbnail before I go to bed. Let me get the wigs and stuff. We don't care about the wigs. And, well, except for the fade, huh? <laughs> but you got the ATV. ATV's pretty cool. Especially the wiggly wheels, the suspension and stuff. So, Final assessment on this, um, honestly, it's a, it's a very interesting build. It's fully playable. You can just back this in here and it will come out. Uh, horse has got its own stable. There's, I think, six minifigures. Too many stickers. Actually, there was only five stickers. That's not bad. But let's run through it. First off, build experience. Um, yes, it's pretty good. It kept my interest. There's some nice stuff in here, new building techniques I see. So, I say the building experience is great to excellent. It was really good. It wasn't boring. It wasn't dry. There was always a new twist and turn with this set, so I'd say it was a pretty good build experience. Uh, build quality. Uh, some of this stuff does flake off. The sports falls over, and some of this stuff is just loose. Um, picking this up would be a, cha uh, a challenge. You're going to have to break this thing down. Preferably this piece would be fine. But still, I would probably break this apart, this and this. You'd have to move it, move four different pieces. So, there is a chance that some stuff could fall off of it. For a young builder, though, they'd probably just leave it on something flat, like maybe a table or a floor or something. So this is, you know play value obviously you can see I had fun playing with the zip line I think this is going to be the the main kicker everybody's going to be using that more than they'll use this hoisting thing but just these ideas alone could be used for any type of build so there's a lot of things here um, but I can see this being heavily played with this is not something that would just be on a shelf I think this is going to be a playable a really good highly playable set um, maybe just have fun with it <sighs> Could it drop in a city? Uh, no. The reason being is it's an open back set. You'd have to finish the walls up in the back. Um, or just build this up a little bit more. Or just, you know, just encase this. It probably would look pretty good if you just closed it up or something. Maybe just make it clean. Just clean up the back. Um, this over here looks pretty good. So I would say that this you could probably drop in a city as well as this little horse area, just kind of build it up. But it's not really city ready. Now mocks, could you integrate this into a mock? Yeah, parts of it. This main thing, probably not. You'd have to do some heavy modding with it to get it to look more like a mock. But just the zip line, some of these obstacles and stuff like that, yeah, you could use that in a mock. Um, but... Just from my assessment, though, playing with this for a few minutes. Yeah. You are getting your bang for your buck. So, yeah, this set retails for $99.99. It does seem a little bit steep. But if you are you, you are getting a really good build experience out of it, some unique pieces. So, yes, this has got a really good play value. from Even for an adult's standpoint, It's not you're not throwing away money on this one. So I would say... Yes, all around, the stickers detract just one point. I'd say it's probably a 9 out of a 10. So, you know, it's, uh, other than that, the whole play, I, I'd say playability is a 10. Durability is probably a 9, 8 to 9. Um, city drop-in value is probably at a 2 or a 3. But the main things I'm looking at is playability and build, build experience. And that's probably the two most important things I always look at. And yeah, I don't really have anything bad to say about it. It's just an all good police training academy, and this is by Lego City. 
set number 60372. I hope you enjoy this installment series of the build of this. It's a nice set. I have to honestly agree there. It's a nice, beautiful build.